All right, everybody, I'm going to uh, just do a quick uh, tips and tricks video live stream uh, on uh, how I get a face transfer in Threat Daz 3D to look good. Uh, so I'm gonna get down to the nitty gritty real quick and I'll just do a uh, really quick rundown of what I do so that if you are coming to this video uh, and you just wanna see what I do quickly, uh, you can get in and out of this video and then if you wanna hang around just a little bit longer, you can definitely do that. So. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the face transfer over here. I'm going to, do, 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 where the, oh, generate face here. So I'm going to find a picture that I've saved. So I have uh, some pictures that I already downloaded from the internet. Um, some good, for the most part, neutral faces. Uh, you don't want smiles because you're gonna add smiles in the emotions, in the, in the uh, expressions. So you want the face uh, that you start with just to be kind of a neutral expression. You also wanna make sure that there's no, like the hair isn't right around the uh, face. Uh, you wanna be careful on how much makeup that they're wearing uh, and uh, just kinda just find just a, a face with some good uh, features that the face transfer is gonna use. So I'm gonna try one that I haven't used yet to kind of see how it works out. This one, her head's to the side, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna bring that one in. We're gonna generate, and we're gonna see how well this does. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the face, turn this around so we can kind of see. Um, and then let's give her oh, content library. Let's go to skins, let's give her a skin mat. And let's start off by looking to see if there's any real big uh, blemishes on the face when we go to eye ray. NVIDIA eye ray, and then we're just going to kind of see if there's any huge, huge uh, blemishes on her. I wanted to do one thing real quick here so I can kind of see if anybody's in chat. I'm going to bring. I'm having issues. Cool. Hey, what's up, SWB Pro? Oh, shit, I'm muted. Okay. Huh, I'm not muted. Okay, so why is that not bringing in sound? Hold on just a second. Can you hear me now? That doesn't make any sense. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna, I need to see. I need to see if you if I can hear my audio in here because according to my OBS there should be sound. Oh no no I'm not I am not muted. Bad information. What's up Chocomoka? Okay, anyways I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty on this. I'm gonna actually show uh, what I do here. Okay, I add that I don't know why those. So skin blemishes we're gonna go to. Uh, we already did the eye ray. We want to see if there's any really bad skin blemishes on this face because of the hair that's kind of around here and like this. I think, I think we might be okay. I think with good lighting, we'll be fine. And really, we're going to worry more about the shapes and all that stuff right now anyways. So the first thing I do, I go into uh, parameters. I go into Genesis 8 female, um, and let's go to head. And we're gonna go to people. So uh, now we have to decide like what we wanna do with this face. Do we want her to be younger? Do we want her to have a thicker face or whatever? Uh, there's all kinds of different options. Uh, but the first, first thing we have to do, uh, let's see, we need to get to 
the phase transfer. So if we add, if we, um, oh, you don't have your earbuds in. If we go and we do a phase transfer with her at 100% on the phase transfer part of it, uh, then we're gonna have some weird shit happen. See how her face kind of scrunches up? Uh, and we definitely don't really want that. So what we want to do is we want to go to the face transfer thing and I always start about 50%. Doesn't really have to be exact. So now from here, uh, we can start adding different uh, different things to it. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to you too. Um, let's see here. So we can start uh, adding different or morphing her face with other people's faces real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. We want to still go. We want to go ahead. So we're going to go people. It's not showing me the very bottom. So the dolly head is going to make her. Why is it? Okay, now it's showing. So as great, that's obviously not going to work. But if I just get the dolly head on just a little bit, it's going to just make the face just a little bit bigger, which means I can bring it down a little bit. Um, if I wanted to look younger, I have this PS Mary. If I just, um, you know, we're going to take that dolly head back down. That's going to take that. We're also going to, just because, I know some people don't put the hair on until after because they want to see just the face by itself. I want to see the face transform with the hair. So that's going to be a shoulder length hair, except. Because I feel like I don't get a good frame of reference without adding the hair first. All right, so we got some hair there. So let's go. So if we, okay, so once again, we start there. That, that was the face at 50%. As we add more of the P.S. Mary, she looks younger and younger, and then eventually she gets to the point where she looks just a little bit weird. Maybe we wanna maybe go about right there. And let's take, well, so right about 85% between the uh, uh, face transfer and then the P.S. Mary. One head, so that's gonna take, that's gonna transform it just a little bit. Uh, if we don't wanna go Evelyn head, got maybe the Lynn head. Again, you don't wanna go too far. The Yoshino head, that's, ooh, that's kind of an interesting looking face on that. Let's go to the NVIDIA iRay and kind of see what we're getting right here. It's kind of a nice little face, um, but she's kind of almost looking a little bit too much like a lot of the other characters I've been making. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to go to, I think we have my face. Let's maybe change the nose up just a little bit, see what we can do. Do too much. But as you can kind of see, what I'm doing is I'm I'm taking the face transfer, I'm using part of the face transfer, and I'm morphing it with some other faces, uh, some other morphs that I already have. So let's do this. This is where once you start, once I've noticed that if you start messing around too much, then you end up with a character. You could go from a character that looks pretty good to one that looks like a circus freak, carnival freak pretty easily. So you do have to be kind of careful on that. Kind of like her look there. 
So next thing we want to do is, you know, these faces can look really good at this point. And then you try to add expressions and you realize that they don't look right. Um, and you don't want that. You want to be able to, you want to make sure that you're able to look at their faces and have it look correct. So I'm going to go into, uh, what the heck did I do? Be back in this here in just a second. So we're going to go into poses. One of the next things I'm really going to do is to try to uh, get my folders a little bit better uh, freaking uh, organized so I have a little bit more trouble let's see here here we'll do this in text shaded so it goes quicker uh, I have a little bit of trouble finding stuff sometimes so let's see let's look at bossy Confused. Um, here's the one. Here's the two that you really, really need to look at. If are for me the, with the ones I have. Uh, let's see. The ones that I really want to make sure look good is happy because it uh, the happy face really changes the cheek structure, and sometimes you find when you do. A render that the, the cheeks end up looking really really funky so I always before I say okay I'm gonna save this as a preset I want to do a render on that and I want to see what, how the cheeks turn out and it looks like the cheeks are okay there uh, and then we'll also go kind because that's the fate that's got her mouth a little bit more open and that's really really gonna show uh, how her cheek structure is going to transform around her smile. So I think she looks. I think she looks pretty good there. Uh, definitely not perfect. Let's. Uh, I almost feel like I want to change her chin up just a little bit here. Oh, let's see. Where do I? So if we go to all. We go to chin. Um, do I not have this? Where the heck do I have that at? Go to face, eyes, nose, mouth. Why do I? Once again, I need to get just get this just a little bit better organized. So if we go face, brow, cheeks, mouth, nose, eyes. Why doesn't it give me an option? Okay, I think I might have it over here. Let's see if I have the ability to change the chin over on this side. Anatomy. Um, I know I got some options in here to change the chin. Interiors, eye ray, poses. You know what? I bet it's under shapes. Is it under face shapes? Yes, it is. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's not chin. It's jaw is what I want to look at here. So... Um, let's mess with the jaw a little bit and see. Yeah, I definitely don't like that really. Eh. Eh. So I just reset the jaw there. I just don't know. 
So we have between that reset jaw and this kind of shallow one. But I just don't know how that's going to look. That's not so bad once I kind of render it out a little bit. That's not too bad at all. Oh, uh, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's return her face to a normal expression. Shapes, poses, expression, zero expression. Hey, what's up, E my bullets? Hey, happy Thanksgiving, brother. I think she looks pretty decent there. All right, so we're gonna take and we'll save this as a scene subset and we'll call this girl to accept and we're going to try another face transfer, see what else we could come up with. And of course, you know, what we didn't mess with there is we didn't mess with the body. It's got the, the Genesis 8 general body. Uh, another thing we could do too is we can look at the face from a different angle too. Sometimes you could kind of tell some different things. Like you could see, you could end up looking at it and be like, okay, her face, you know, maybe her nose just doesn't look good from a different angle, from up or down, that type of stuff. But either way, I think she looks okay. So we're not gonna save that. We're gonna start a new. No, we already saved it. Let's try another face transfer. So let's go to uh, face transfers. We're going to pick another one. And let's mess with Emma Watson's face. She's got a she's got really good features. You know what? Well, let's go let's go Kendall Jenner. Throw her in there. Partly because uh, she's got pretty good skin tone. Um, let's uh, right away as soon as we bring her in. Let's bring her up front. Let's get in on the face. Uh, let's do an NVIDIA preview. We'll just kind of look to see what the skin is. It doesn't, you know what? I don't think that does any kind of skin. I think we actually have to go in, give her a skin. So we're gonna go to materials, eye ray. And we'll do a high translucency so it's a little bit darker skin yeah, I think that looks pretty good let's give her uh, some hair that way we can kind of see how things adjust around her hair we're gonna go to um, no maybe that one Yeah, we'll do this. And then, don't have too many options for color. Is it even gonna, so we need to, oh, we need to actually go to her, I believe, to get the color to, no. Oh see why that isn't changing the color here real quick we need to go to the there we go there we go now we got the color to change so let's look not a huge fan of the way that frames her face but we're gonna change her face around a little bit anyways so we're gonna go back into parameters. Uh, we are gonna go to, oh, you know what? That's what I was missing earlier. We've got 
shaping that we didn't do earlier. So we're going to go think ahead. Oh, first of all, we got to start bringing the face transfer down to about 50%. <laughs> we can add some look at that we can uh it's not even going to show uh we could we could do some fantasy ears but um <laughs> see how it moves her hair though like cause that hair is uh actually conforming around her but we could do some interesting stuff here we can do could change your eyes this way but this is the thing is i'm not going to do it that way because i've found that using these things doesn't work nearly as well as going here and then going into the and I'll go into people I'm going to go here and then do it this way so again I I found for whatever reason, this P.S. Mary one might add that. Ooh, that's bringing her up. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, 3%. Let's take this down to about 10%. That's kind of doing some interesting things. Um... Shrinking her head down just a little bit. Oh, it's making her look way too young. And yeah, that's starting to look weird as hell. We need to. I wonder if we need to go here and maybe just go a little bit less. Let's go about 25% on that and then we'll go up to... That's kind of an interesting look. Yeah, it's definitely making two. Yeah. Gosh, I just don't know. I don't know if there's much. Much else I could do with her face other than I don't think I'm going to be able to take a transformer. Let's change her hair. Maybe maybe the way her head is being framed just isn't very good. Let's change the hair up. We do need to get rid of that other. Mm -hmm. Oops. Let's see. Let's get rid of, or at least we'll hide this. Yeah, I. You know what? I think this uh, hair frames her face just a lot better. I might. Let's go over here and let's go to shapes. Shapes. Yeah, a higher brow. I kind of like that. So it's just going to give her some different. Yeah. Let's undo a couple of these. There we go.
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this uh, little uh, session here real quick. I'll be done here in just a moment. Um, gotta start getting ready for Thanksgiving. I kind of like maybe that. Let's see if we can mess with the jaw just a little bit. No, I didn't like that jaw at all. Nope. That ain't it. That might be okay. It's a pretty decent mouth. Oh, you know what else we could do? We can go into, I know that Rika has some different shapes, shapes, I think. I think she's got some different lips we can go into and get. So under materials, do lips. A little bit redder lips. Let's uh, change her eye color. No, I don't like that. No. Um. So is that gonna be clashing her? I wonder if I'm overthinking that. I wonder if I let's go back to this color. Let's go back to that color. Let's. A little NVIDIA iRay. I want to see how this looks real quick. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not so pronounced. Once you do this, um, yeah, the fa those colors aren't nearly as pronounced. Those are some, those are some pretty stunning eyes. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels like those are just a little bit too much. Should we throw on some? Let's go back to the texture shaded. Oh no, is this gonna crash? That's why you always um, you always want to when this uh, make sure that you're saving stuff. Let's see. Red. Oh, oh shoot! Yeah, I just completely got rid of her skin. I want to do a thing. Is I don't know enough about makeup to know. Holy shit! That looks funky as hell. Let's see what that looks like in the when we pre-render. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's better. It just took a second for it to really put it, put that uh, eyeshadow on her. Mm. Is that really how that's gonna render? Okay, that's, holy crap, that changed. All right, so I'm not gonna use that part again because that just completely changed her skin, skin texture. So let's get rid of that okay we're again so we got rid of all the eyeshadow because that doesn't seem to be working so what happens when I that's ah, not gonna work anyways I think this is might be where we end it though. I think we got, I'm going to take, I'm gonna render this and just so we can kind of see what it looks like. And then we're gonna end this uh, live stream and I'm gonna start getting ready for Thanksgiving. Let's see how she looks. But yeah, so that's basically what I do with uh, face transfer. I do a lot of just combining 
uh, faces. I start out about 50% on the face transfer and kind of go from there. Um, but I'm really still kind of learning how to do this stuff. Um, I need to get some more face morphs so I have more options to work with. Uh, I'll be doing that a little bit. Uh, this one definitely did not turn out as well as what I thought it was going to. She looks a little... Uh, not sure if it's just the makeup uh, or if there's just if her eyes are too bright or what it is that I'm not really liking about it, but I definitely do not feel like this one turned out very well. The last one definitely turned out better. So I'm not going to be saving this one. Yeah. Yeah. That one's, that one's fairly awful. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Um, I will, uh, I don't know. I'm going to have a happy Thanksgiving and who knows, maybe I'll be back on to play some battlefront two tonight. I do not have any clue. But y'all have a great day, and we will see you again later.